What is up everybody, Cat hitting the whip and Nene here, and welcome back to another very sleepy episode of card unpacking. I am very exhausted right now. Today we will be opening another Elite Trainer box for the new set that recently came out, Battle Styles. Eh, I think that looks alright. I haven't wrapped my hands in like two years. I used to do a little bit of uh, recreational boxing. You know, nothing too serious. I just usually box for fun. 21! 21! I know I said I was gonna go on hiatus, but um, the new set literally dropped. <laughs> and I want to make a video on it before Battle Styles becomes irrelevant, Lamau. And I know you guys are dying to see another episode of Card Unpacking, so I thought, eh, might as well just make a, another video, you know, before I go away for a while. Alright, so I got the, uh, I think this is the, um, the Rapid Strike box. Well, there was like two Elite Trainer boxes for Battle Styles. There was like a red one, and there was this one with the, uh, Water Bear. I actually, uh, don't know his name on the box, or its name. I don't really know any of the new Pokemon, but this guy right here is a Water Bear, and I like Water Bears more than Land Bears. Also, sorry in advance if I sound very unenthusiastic today, um, like I said in like maybe like 80% of my videos, I work a lot, basically like almost 10 hours every single day, like no days off, so right now it is currently like midnight and I decide to record even though I really should just be sleeping. But I did get myself a uh, an energy drink before I recorded a uh, Monster Punch Pacific um, wait, monster, okay, it's a monster energy that's punch flavor, specifically Pacific Punch. So I'm all energized, and let's just cut into this box and dissect it, and see what we get. Well, this is probably like the third Elite Trainer box I opened up on this channel, so you guys kind of already get the gist of it. It usually comes with like, eight booster packs, I think this one comes with, and some dice, some coins, you know, all that fancy stuff. And I don't think there's a promo card in the uh, Battle Styles Elite Trainer box, but uh, let's just find out. I usually don't like to um, spoil anything. With any new Grand Spanking Elite Trainer box, we like to uh, look at it and just analyze it. I really like the artwork on this box. I like the colors. Uh, blue's my favorite color, as you guys can um, you know, clearly tell by today's um, background. How would I do some ASMR? guys like ASMR. Oh my god, look at that box. It looks so fabulous. Here we got the player guide, like usual, and we'll just take a, a little little sneak peek, a little, little quick glance at it, no spoilers. Alright, that's all you guys are seeing, you know. You guys gotta wait till I unpack the cards to see what we get. Alright, so it turns out I'm a big fucking idiot. Um, you know, no surprise there, but... I found out you can actually open these somehow while I was watching another person's video. Yeah, there's just like glue holding it together. Like it's supposed to come off easily and it actually um functions as like a little background display, which I thought was really cool. I didn't know you could do that. So you can get like a a better look at um all the artwork on the packs. And they even got Empoleon, which is cool. Like I'm glad they never fought, uh, forgot about Empoleon. He's a pretty cool water starter Pokémon, but yeah, these are just the art, uh, the, the pack artworks. Sorry, as you guys can tell, my brain isn't really functioning right now. Oh, fuck. Alright, let's just take this, uh, weird cardboard structure out of the box. And I don't know, I really like that pattern. I don't know what it is. It just it looks really like, like Vaporwave, you know what I mean? Like, that weird aesthetic everybody was really into in, like, 2016 for some reason. We got the rules, you know, for the baby, the cringe baby. And once again, I do not know how to play the Pokemon TGC. I actually never played it, and I don't know, maybe I'll try it in the future, because I said in like the last like Elite Trainer box unpacking that like it's really boring or something like that, but how can I even say that if I actually never gave it a proper chance? Let's go, we got the uh, pack of energies which I never open because it's just just filler. It's just pointless cardboard to add to my 
pointless cardboard collection that I have in my closet. And we got the uh, beautiful sleeves, or not sleeves, the card dividers with a nice pattern of that Pokemon whose name I actually do not know. Uh, I know it's like, I, I don't know his first evolution's name either, but it's like a cute little, um, little bear Pokemon that he, he likes to fight and he looks like he has like, um, like a thing on his head. I forget what they're called, but, um, a headband. <laughs> Yeah, he has like a little headband, and I'm probably going to use him in the thumbnail, because I think that Pokemon's really cute. But he evolves into uh, this guy, or the other fucking bear Pokemon. It's evolution's weird, like you have to choose, it's like a water bear and like a regular ass bear. And here's the sleeves I was talking about. Uh, really nice looking sleeves, again, I probably will just be holding on to these and not actually use these for now. We got the nice blue dice. And we got the uh, two damage counters that every Elite Trainer box comes with. Here's some nice ASMR for you guys. Some gentle tapping. And, aw, it doesn't look like we get a promo card. That's kind of sad. But whatever, we have like 8 booster packs, so we'll probably pull something pretty good, like mathematically, but again, math is not my my strong suit. Or is it sweet? I don't, I don't fucking know what I'm talking about. And we got a nice collection of uh, battle style card packs with the nice artwork I was talking about earlier. Uh, let's start off with the Tyranitar pack. Here's the code card. And I completely forgot two things. One, I forgot to show the first code card I got from the Elite Trainer box. And two, I don't know how many cards I'm supposed to put in the front, so be right back. Okay, so it turns out it's four to the front with these uh, packs. And I got the other code card that came in the Elite Trainer box itself, so... Here is the second code card, and guess the energy, I'm gonna guess, uh, darkness, because it's nighttime. Oh, damn, shit, that's crazy, bro, it's, it's a dark energy. Alright, so, let's, ooh, the energies look new, actually, I don't remember them having, like, that little small icon or something, but, we got a single strike mustard, um, <laughs> I am very confused. But I kind of like those little um, tags, like those little like emblems that they have on the actual cards. Like I remember um, back then they used to do that a lot with the uh, older sets, and I think this they brought it back recently. But we got a gold bat uh, with a big ass opened mouth. We got a Bruno. Ooh, I like Bruno. And we, again, we got that cool emblem, which I really like. We got a horsey. We got a. Cheruby, you know, the symbiotic twins. We got a Licky Tongue, an Electabuzz. Wow, all these artworks look really nice. We got an Esper, aww, um, just staring into my soul. We got a Reverse Jellicent, oh my, oh my fucking god, he's deflated, holy shit. Oh, poor Jellicent, getting fished for the market. And our final card is just a uh, Mian Shao. And it's got the Rapid Strike logo, which is this Elite Trainer box. And then the other red one would be the uh, Single Strike Elite Trainer box. Alright, alright. Let's go with the Empoleon pack. Holy shit. How did, you, did you guys see like the new... Uh, Fortnite trailer for uh, Chapter 6, Season 2. Holy fuck. That shit was insane. Like, um, I don't even know how I got myself into Fortnite lore, but now I want to know more, because when I saw, like, Chapter the Chapter 6 trailer or whatever, and um, the fucking Jonesy, right? And like, I don't want to spoil anything, but I'll tell you one part, because it's, like, it's been a week since it came out, and I'm recording this video, like, a week later, but fucking when, like, Jonesy sees Peely, and then 
Uh, he's like, Peely, and then fucking Peely just explodes and dies after he gets Hadouken. Like, that shit made me, like, cry. Like, I was like, I literally screamed too. I was like, Peely! And, I don't know, it was just really, like, scary. We got a Leaf Energy. A Luxio, Rapid Strike. I don't, I don't know what that means. Like, are these cards worth anything? Like, does every card have, like, a little emblem, or is it only some cards? Spupa. Again, we got the single style mustard. A Pikachu clone. A min a mine foo. A ball toy. A Galarian, Mr. Mime. A Fomantis. A reverse Pachiritsu. And come on, give me something good. Get fucked. Oh. Just... This thing is hard to fucking aim. We like Fortnite. We like Fortnite. Do you guys like Fortnite? But anyways, here's the code card. And unos, dos, tres, cuatros. And guess the energy. Steel energy. I know most of you guys probably guess steel energy, but we got a lobster. A tower of waters. So I'm guessing that's how you get the water bear in Sword and Shield. We got a Karina's Focus. We got a monkey. We got a Galarian Slowpoke. We got a Fomantis. We got a Remoraid Rapid Strike, and he's doing a little balancing act. Oh, and there looks like there's an Octillery in the background, um, balancing his own sticks and stones. We got a Cubone. <laughs> we got a Reverse Horsey. And we got a Senti Scorch. I don't know, I thought that was a Charizard for a sec, and I was going to freak out. Huh, so far we opened like three booster packs and um, didn't really get anything that amazing yet. But you know, we still have five more to go, so I'm not giving up yet. Code card. Oh, gotta shuffle it first. Guess the energy. I'm gonna guess electric. Oh, fire was my second guess actually. We got a Dottler. He looks pretty funny looking. We got an NDD. What a weird Pokemon. We got a Crawdont. Another Esper. A Shinx. A Blipbug. A Ponyard. A Mankey. And for reverse, we got a Gly score. I don't know, when I was little, I always thought its eyes looked like basketballs. Uh, I don't, and its name's like Gly score, so I thought it was supposed to be like a basketball player or something like that. And come on, drum roll please. Our final card is... Bruh. Just a primate. Man, we're getting pretty fucking unlucky today. Since we're at the halfway point, I got something fresh for us to look at. So I was at my local mall, and um, I found these like little vending machines. And one of them had like a vending machine, and had like a picture of like really bootleg-looking Pokemon figurines, and it just said, you know, Pocket Monsters. So I was like, eh, I'll buy a couple and see what they look like. You know, they just look like the run-of-the-mill, like really bootleg little figurines you'd find when you're little and shit. But I'm just really curious to see what these abominations on the inside look like. So I got myself three, and it was $2 for, like, one of these. So I hope they look decent, but I highly doubt it. So let's see what we get in the red Pokeball. Um, Looks like we have a sticker with Togepi. It says number 38. I don't know if that's accurate. 
And, oh, what the fuck is this? It's a cloister, but it's really fucking orange. I don't think cloister's supposed to be orange. I do not like how that looks. Um, it did not look like the picture on the vending machine. I wish I took a picture of the vending machine, but... Yeah, they definitely did not look like that. Like, the mold looks fine, but, like... It's just, like, a see-through orange, like, resin. Like, what does it smell like? Yeah, it's, you can literally smell, like, the burning plastic fumes, you know, from, like, the Chinese sweatshop or whatever that, or wherever this was made. Now let's open the uh, cute pink kawaii pokeball. And, okay, looks like we got more of these little stickers, which I think they're stickers. And, yeah, it has, like, a, a Venusaur with really weird artwork. I've never seen that Venusaur artwork. It might be original, but... Oh, then we got a Pachiritsu, which is, I'm pretty sure is not number six in the Sinnoh Pokedex or National Pokedex. Same with Torterra, like, he's definitely not number 39 in either of those Pokedexes, so I don't know what these numbers mean. And the final sticker is just a Sneasel. Bless you. And for the little figurine, we got an Ekans. Like, see, I really like this Ekans. Like, the purple goes well with it, but again, it's just like a see-through plastic resin that smells awful. And now we got the piss yellow Pokeball. Oh, boy. And holy fuck, what is this? Oh, my God, he's fucking missing an arm. He's fucking green. He's sick. That's supposed to be Primeape. Oh, yeah, here's a, here's a reference sheet for what Primeape's supposed to look like. Um, don't know how accurate that is, but I'm pretty sure Prime, Ar Prime Ape usually has two arms to, you know, fight with. Oh, it's fucking gross. It's like sick and green. And it comes with more stickers, my favorite Steel-type Pokemon, Steelix, and... Oh, what the fuck? Why is that... Is that shiny Zangoose? Why is that Zangoose blue? He's not fucking blue. Unless it's like a Mandela effect, and I'm just living in the wrong universe right now. We're halfway there. We got four more packs, and so far we didn't get any bangers, so I'm kind of getting a little bit worried, a little bit scared. Um, I at least want like like two or one good card, like something, like maybe a secret rare. But the good thing about these, uh, our battle styles in general is, like, there's no Charizards in the packs, which is amazing, because I'm sick and tired of seeing, like, a rare Charizard card or some dumb shit like that. But here's the code card. I just really do not like Charizard, and oh, what the fuck? These packs have, like, weird, like, or these, you know, this card has, like, a weird scan line or something. Do you guys see that? Like, it's right there. Oh, they all have, like, these weird little scan lines. Oh, that one doesn't. That one doesn't either. Oh, uh, that should have been four, I hope. Uh, we'll find out. Yep, water energy for the water bear. We got camping gear. I really want to go camping. I've only been camping once, and it was pretty fun. We got a Seedra. Ooh, that's some nice artwork. I really, I don't know. I really like, like, the recent artworks for these Pokemon cards. They've been bangers. Ooh, and we got... Rapid Strike Scroll of Swirls. That's a mouthful and a lot to read. We got a Scatterbug. A Orphan Pokemon. A Murkrow. Ooh, a Tepig. A Hone Edge. A Silicobra. And come on, give me something good. No! I got a fucking rock. It's just, a, it's just a fucking little rock, dude. Who is this, Stonejourner? Sorry if I offended the uh, Stonejourner fans out there. I, I didn't mean to. I just realized um, I've been spoiling like each pack because uh, unlike Shining Fates, um, there's two different types of code cards. The green usually means, like, you get something not that amazing, and the white and green means you get something rare. 
So I didn't mean to spoil every fucking pack I opened, but I just found that out. Like I completely forgot that's how it worked. So that means we got something good in the, uh, this pack. So I'm just gonna show the code card. Uh, can you guys read that? Okay, good. And let's just shuffle it. It better be a good, good card. I'm getting greedy, but you know, after this luck, I want something amazing. A psychic energy. Oh, ooh, I see something good at the end. We got a pig knight. A fan of waves. A dawdler. A roly coly poly. A chai mecco. A very sleepy onyx, which I'm very sleepy right now. Oh, fuck, they brought back the little Play-Doh cards. Oh my god, I might just keep that card, or like sleeve it, because I really like the Play-Doh, like little Play-Doh cards. Me and my friends, we had like an inside joke when we were little, actually. Like, we all had like these Play-Doh Wormpole cards, and we would like call ourselves like the Wormpole Gang, and you'd have to have like the Play-Doh Wormpole card to be in the Wormpole Gang. It was really stupid, but... We got a Glam Meow. We got a reverse camping gear, and let's see what we... Oh, single strike Urshifu. Ur oh, so the same as Urshifu. Or Urshifu? Uh, uh, fuck it. 21 on the hard case. 21? The video is soon coming to end. We're down to our last two packs, and I just wanted to say, um... I really like making videos on YouTube, like, I know there's room for improvement and my videos aren't, like, the best videos I could possibly be, be making at the moment, but, I don't know, I just, I find it fun, like, I only have, like, a hundred subscribers or, like, around there, and, um, you know, I don't have, like, insane views or anything, but, you know, as long as there's, like, a small audience enjoying these videos, I, I don't mind making them. All right, uh, Brofist Army, um, here's the code card. And we're gonna shuffle it. Or not shuffle it, but organize it in a way where the good card's at the end. Okay, okay, okay. We got a Steel Energy. We got a, a, a Caracal Cat. A pig knight, a fan of waves, or fan of yeah, a fan of waves. We got a timber, another Galarian slowpoke, a corfish, a Plato salandit, a roly coly, and for reverse we got a level ball. Hey, this poke ball kind of looks like a level ball, actually. And our final card is... Wow. Oh, a Hollow Ente. And that looks like it's one of the rares. I, I don't know what that star means, but... Uh, the code card says it's a rare card, but it's just... You know, I'll sleeve this. I don't know if I should hard sleeve it, though, but... We got an Ente. I guess we'll do something for it. Um, I don't know, um... These nuts on the hard case. These nuts. The final pack stands. Let's just tear it open and see what we get, which I hope is something amazing because I don't want to sound picky or like greedy, but I should be thankful for the things I have, but. I was hoping to get, like, something better than that Urshifu V in the Entei. Here's the code card. Two. Three. Four. We got a Water Energy. A Golbat. A Bruno. A Carcol. A Sparrow with really realistic, disturbing artwork. We got... <gasps> Oh my god, that's kind of, that's fucking cool. It's like a double Yoshi Exploshi um, Zubat. Whoa-shi, it's a double Yoshi Exploshi. Got a Cubone. 
we got a frillish, we got a blip bug, we got a reverse victory bell, Ooh, not bad, not bad, victory bell is cool, and our final card for today's card unpacking is, it's a fucking claydol, like don't get me wrong, I like claydol and all, but fuck, would this really have to be my last card? Ooh, actually the background looks really cool and that's like a nice rainbow like stone hedge. This card probably looks really cool when it's hollow. You know, fuck it. I'm just gonna bite into it for no reason. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda upset with the uh, cards we got. Like, I know it could have been way, way worse, but I don't know, this single strike Urshifu V isn't cutting, cutting it for me, you know? I'd rather have, like, the water bear one. And the Entei is like, yeah, it's a legendary Pokemon that's hollow, but I don't know if it's like worth a lot or anything. But wait, there's more. Uh, before we go today, I actually got a, another Fortnite card for V-Bucks. This one's $35, and I plan on giving it away. Okay, for a chance to win this V-Bucks card, all you gotta do is um, write a comment uh, down in the comment section down below, and... Um, uh, whichever comment makes me laugh the hardest, or just, I think, is the funniest comment, um, I'll pin it so you guys know who's the winner, and I'll, uh, probably DM you on Instagram if you're the winner and give you the code. So I know most of my, uh, viewers are Canadian, so I don't know, like, how this would work if you, like, if you're an American, and, like, can you redeem Canadian V-Bucks cards? Like, I don't know how that works, so, um... Sorry in advance if you're like American and you like write the funniest comment and it doesn't work. I'll have to give it to the next winner. So I'm so sorry about that. Uh, my camera is about to die, which is perfect timing. Um, thank you guys for watching. Have a good night. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next card unpacking video.